Now this one's interesting. You know, you know, I'm still a laptop guy. Will I'm using laptops. You know, mm. I'm out here. I'm in the world. I'm using laptops. Mm. Getting work done. I like keyboards. Am I old school? Maybe, maybe. But there's cool stuff happening in laptops, as far as I'm concerned. What's the alternative? What do you mean? Well, I'm guy? just saying, like human beings, they moved on to. Apple wants you to believe that the iPad is the new com could be a com computing platform and right. smartphones are enormous. Galaxy Folds exist. I hear you. Uh, Galaxy Notes have Dex. Yeah. You see how it's going? Like, there's like I don't know. There's just a movement to kind of, kind of whatever the next format of computing is. And there's something about a laptop since the form factor's been around now for so long. There's like a lot of people are just like, well, I don't know. There's not too much exciting happening, but. In my estimation, maybe it's subtle, but I've noticed improvements on these things. I, I start to notice the fit and finish. The displays have gotten nicer. You know, we had the display dispute the other day. Was that you and I? Where, like, I, you, I was like, look at these thumbnails. Remember that? Oh, yeah, with the color. Um, yeah, because you got the HDR. You don't have the HDR. And, like, we're like, w which display is showcasing it properly? And you're on a MacBook Pro and... And uh, it was just like my display was uncovering all kinds of weird discrepancies and terribleness in the thumbnails. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. You remember? And Will was like, it can't be true. Will was like, well, I can't. Will was like, I can't see it on my display. So <laughs> that was him. That's exactly how I saw. Yeah, that was him. He was sipping a cup of tea and he was wearing a beret and eating a baguette. So I'm French now? Yeah, in that moment. <laughs> so anyway, we were just, I was talking like, man, stuff is still happening in laptops. And yeah. one area where I still think it's, you know what, I'm getting back around to the beginning part of the conversation. One area where I think we could really see some coolness is in battery life. Mm. These are huge devices. Like where you could put a, you know how it goes. Well, you're an engineer. You just slap a big battery in there. So yeah. Uh, I've been the the problem with these nice displays on these laptops is you start going up to these to these exotic resolutions, 4K and beyond, and you're using battery, dude. I'll tell you what, you get that brightness going at that at those big resolutions, you start using that battery. I'll tell you what, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, 90 hertz, 100. You get your hertz, hertz going. Yeah, you get your res going. You get your hertz going. You start you start sucking the juice. You see how it goes, well. So anyhow, a lot of people, the enthusiasts, will actually spec down their unit to like a lower, like a business type user, travel type user will actually be like, I don't want the high res unit, right. even if they got the money for it, because they'll say, I'm going to prioritize battery life. And if you get like the 1080 version of a lot of these laptops, you actually see substantially more battery life because you're pushing less pixels. Same argument can be made for smartphones like is it really worth it to go beyond a particular resolution? Do you get the benefit back in in pixel experience, is that enough to offset the impact on battery life? That's the question that's out there. Anyhow, Intel, they're like, we're still out here. We're Intel. We make, we're doing processors. We don't advertise as much as we used to, but like, we're still, we're making processors and laptops and we like ultra books and we're doing stuff. That's Intel. That's their official uh, press release. Yeah. I just true. read it word for word. It's their slogan. We're out here. We're Intel computers. They still Computer exist. Yeah. yeah. We sold our mobile stuff and modems and all that to Apple. So, like, laptops are still cool. Trust us. We're Intel. Chips. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wafers. Wafers. Silicone. And, and yeah, and white outfits. Yeah. They're still. So, anyway, they came out with this program. Wow, off track. Oh, holy moly. I blame Kirk for that. He was encouraging it. He was over there doing a song and dance quietly. He was encouraging it. Uh, HP Elite Dragonfly is a Project Athena laptop that lasts over 24 hours on a charge. There we are. We got to it. The important part. Apologies for uh, the off-track nature of the discussion there. We're having too much fun, obviously. What is it? A Wednesday. It's a fun Wednesday. Uh, so there's this thing called Project Athena. Intel put out this... Uh, this specification, this Athena ready guideline for like what an Ultrabook should be able to deliver to be considered ultimate mega Ultrabook status. And the way it breaks down is that an Athena ready laptop should be light and slim, 
powered by Intel's latest chips. It should support uh, all-day battery life. It should feature all-day battery life, fast charging support, an always-on internet connection, including 4G, instant on functionality, and certain AI features. Uh, so kind of a, a, a feature set, something you would want in an Ultrabook, but where Intel can say, look, this one meets our criteria. What is that? I mean, Dolby does stuff like that, like kind of like a certification program, yeah. but they're just calling it, for now, I guess, they're calling it Athena Ready. But the cool thing here is it puts an emphasis on user stuff. Like it puts an emphasis on not how big is the battery, but like what does it deliver in terms of actual usage? Can you get 24 hours out of it? Also, the always-on connection thing, I think, has the potential to be big for laptops, even though it's not the standard at the moment. Most people's laptops you bump into, they're not featuring always-on or LTE connections, but it's kind of a nice idea. You pop it open, you're always connected, you're not searching for a Wi-Fi. We start to think about it more like a smartphone mm -hmm. type of device. So anyhow, HP is one of the first to the party with this Elite Dragonfly. Now, it's important to note this device is a business-oriented device. It's a 13-inch convertible, two-in-one style laptop. But it's it's like got all kinds of cool titles and attributes associated with it. It's going to be the world's first business convertible with, uh, what is it? Where is it here? Ocean-bound plastics? <laughs> no, that wasn't the one I was looking for. The world's lightest. There you go. The world's lightest compact business convertible. But like they put in all <clears throat> they put in all that stuff. Like they don't say the world's lightest 13-inch convertible. They say compact business convert. Like I what? Mm. I don't know. What makes it business? What is the business part of it? It's black is that then it's business. Like what makes something, you know? When does something go full business? Well, is there? If, I think when they're called HP. You know what they're I think? Business. When if there's a briefcase involved, you're. Oh yeah, definitely. It's business. Yeah. That's, you know, like you an see? old school briefcase. Yeah, if there's a briefcase involved, what, if dress shoes. No. Dress shoes on a weekday. That's business. Mm. You see how that goes? The uh, handkerchief <laughs> here. The, uh, no, a handkerchief. No, because. Uh, with certain, the dress shirt in a certain year like maybe mad men style yeah but now that's i don't know you're going to a wedding or something and you got the, the handkerchief going on but uh yeah business anyway this one is uh is is very lightweight obviously i think it comes in at under one kilogram in some configurations it's also the world's first notebook or the highest screen to body ratio in a 13 inch business convertible 86 percent screen to body ratio did you just do a kilogram to pound conversion rapidly there willie do mm -hmm. it's unbelievable 2.2 pounds that's 2.2 pounds that's pretty amazing for a 13 inch business laptop uh, honestly i think the way these laptop manufacturers use the business de designation is uh from a robust like is it is it durable is it a tough can it can it live up to the demanding criteria of a road warrior business type dude you throw it in a bag is there aluminum involved that's how they use it mm -hmm. so that's fine that's cool so 2.2 pounds for a for a, a tough laptop that's pretty amazing 13 inch uh but the most important and interesting spec is the battery life so they're claiming this is incredible they are claiming it will pull off 24 hour and 30 minute battery life on a single charge when, when you spec it out with a 1-watt full HD display, Intel Core i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gig SSD. So that's just the spec they chose for the particular test. The number came from MobileMark 2014, so an actual uh, benchmark tool, not just like from their lab, but like an actual benchmark tool you can download and try for yourself. They gave it a relatively light workload test. So that's important to note. A relatively light workload test so you assume that's like some browsing it's uh your screen is not full brightness uh maybe a little video here and there some documents that to me is a light workload but still 24 hours 30 minutes i mean i wish don't you wish will Tw 24 hour battery life will guy like you it's great on a laptop is this entire episode is this the battery life episode of Lou later, it might seem like it's it, just yeah. Willie Do and Lou 
uh, rant and rave and riff, in fact, on the battery life, the state of battery life in 2019. This is actually a, a forum. It's a referendum. It's a uh, state of the union. Mm -hmm. That's actually what this is. I didn't intend on doing that. It also features fast charge, able to recharge the battery to 50% capacity in 30 minutes. This, to me, is Intel saying laptops can be smartphones. Laptops mm -hmm. are cool like smartphones. Laptop Laptops can do smartphone things mm -hmm. like crazy battery life and fast charge and LTE. Like we can talk about those things too. Right. Just because we're laptops, I mean, we can't talk about that stuff. We're cool too. And uh, and I think that's the right move. One charger, fast charger. I love it. So anyway, I'm, I'm actually interested in this product. I'd like to check it out myself. Uh, I don't know when it comes out. It's not out yet, but uh, it's, it's exciting times in technology. You're well aware.